Good morning from Trinity Episcopal Church. Today is Monday, the 21st of September. It's a bright and shiny day here in Maryland. Today we're going to, as is our custom on Monday, pray through Trinity's prayer list. So let's remember folks in our prayers this morning, particularly those who are sick, who are alone, who are oppressed, who are living and neglected. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who administer to their needs, that they, for whom our prayers are offered, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help to heal those who are broken in body or mind or spirit, and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to those our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this great land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And sometimes, particularly, I think we don't think about those who are in prison. So, Lord Jesus Christ, for our, for our sake, you were condemned as a criminal. Visit our jails and prisons and bring the guilty to repentance and amendment of life according to your will and give them hope for the future. When any are held unjustly, bring them release. Forgive us and teach us to improve our justice. Remember those who work in these institutions. Keep them humane and compassionate and save them from becoming brutal and callous. And since what we do for those in prison, O oh Lord, we do for you, constrain us to improve their lot. All this we ask for your mercy's sake. Amen. Dearest God, who cares for all who are in distress and all who are experiencing pain and suffering, be with all those who have been in a afflicted with the COVID-19 coronavirus, and all who live in fear of perhaps contracting the disease. Ease their minds and comfort them in these times of stress and bring them your healing power. Bring your healing power to this, your human family. And O oh, protector of the ones who serve the sick, and who serve those who are afraid. Be with those who work on behalf of the rest of us so that we may be safe. The police, the firefighters, the pharmacy staff, grocery workers, bank employees, doctors and nurses and technicians and aides and all of the other health care workers. And also be with and bless the work of the scientists and researchers who are putting enormous efforts into trying to find a vaccine for this degree, the disease. 
Please, Heavenly Father, send your blessings upon all those for whom our prayers are asked as they go about their work. Protect them and keep them safe and in good health. Amen. So this morning, as we pray through Trinity's prayer list, I hope you will keep those prayers in mind and keep all of these people for whom we pray in mind, whether they are sick in body, mind, or spirit, or whether they are working on our behalf. So this morning, we ask our prayers for the following. Sean, Christy, and Ryan Dooley, Miriam Marquez, James Dooley, Nancy Mateus, the Horton family, the Otto family, Marge Burley, Ethel Ruth, Jack Farah, James J. Jordan, Beverly Ann St. Louis, Mary Farmer, Jane Anderson, Father Bill Anderson, Michael Rudman, Jennifer Noel, the Noel family, Betty Jean Vaughn and family, Jessica Marquez, Ed Brown, Nyla Schneider and family, Yvonne Hollis and family, Barrett Law, Betsy McMillian, Judy Miller and family, Chuck Shamakovitz, Amy Shamakovitz, Suzanne Nemo, Pat Kaufman, Judy Miller and family, Adam Batot and family, Karen Fitzke, Caitlin Mulheron and family, James Loris, Lawrence, Christopher Marcus and Christina Cox, Carl Menke, Sylvia Nudler, Sarah Husted, Nancy Lowers, Elwin Quirk and family, Ralph Evanson and family, Nelcha Brewster, Amanda Freeland, Noreen Johnson Atkinson, Stephen Kaufman and family, Caitlin Delina, Bailey Oaks, Benjamin Delina, Sonia Schmitz, Valerie McGuire, the Nemo family, Dominic Vesuvio, Kathy Goblersch, Netta Hodges Moses, Amy Turner, Christian Greist, Kyle Yoder, Val McGuire, John Yalt, Sharon Weaver Knowles, Jane Blakely, Laura McClung, Shannon Erdman, and family. And as we prayed just a minute ago for those who are our frontline workers in, during this coronavirus outbreak, we now ask your prayers for Nicole Miller, Michelle Euler, Beverly Ann St. Louis, Vic Nemo, Brandy Bartos, Joey Lopez, Jimmy Cheek, Kendall Law, Mark Vesuvio, Robin Watson, Brian Watson, Amelia Batot, Josh Batot, Adam Batot, Sarah Helmesy, Sarah Faulkner, Tori Alexander, Allison Rind, Catherine Reinheimer, Caitlin Dolina, John Kittner, Michelle Hobson, Ben Dolina, Barrett Law, Melanie Hedrich, Jennifer Noel, Caitlin Brown, Kai Shea, Joseph Clementi, Amy Jordan, Carl Lancaster III, Victoria Lancaster, Victor Lancaster, Becky Workman, Becca Workman, Brittany Dixon, Mike Fields, Aiden Shea, Mike Wright. Please keep all those people and others in your hearts, who are in your hearts, keep them in your prayers this week. I hope today finds you well. I hope you are, I hope you are safe. The coronavirus, at least in Maryland, seems to be subsiding and we give thanks to God for that, and we give thanks to God for, for the fact that 
um, people are staying in and staying safe and staying well. I hope you will join Mother Ann tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning for another um, prayer and meditation. And be sure to join Brother Les Roberts and Chris Paul each evening at 8.30 for Compline. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit keep us all in eternal life. Amen. Have a wonderful day.